says in Romans 12 verse number 1 therefore I urge you brothers and sisters in view of God's mercy to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and pleasing to God for this is your true and proper worship so kingdom citizen as the Lord spoke to us this is our fine print in this house that in the month of April is our month of sacrifice. Therefore, each and every year, we take our first fruit every Sunday. We bring them as our sacrifice. We are offering, as Apostle Paul says, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. So whatever that we have attained through our works, our hands, we bring it to the altar. Are we together, Bazalwan? Be greeted, Amen. Are we together, Bazalwan? So every April of the year, we take our first fruit, all our earnings that we have worked with our bodies, with our hands, to attain or to achieve or to get. We bring them to the Lord as a living sacrifice. Amen. We take our first fruit for God loved us and gave us his first fruit. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, welcome to a month of sacrifice. Tell your neighbor again, say, welcome to a month of sacrifice. When we sacrifice, we sacrifice self. We sacrifice anything that we have we bring it to the lord our earnings our sweat we bring our first fruit are we together Bazalwan? so each and every sunday from this coming sunday we will have an opportunity to bring our first fruit as our sacrifice and the altar of the lord hallelujah we are reading from verse number 15. then god said to noah come out of the ark you and your wife and your sons and their wives verse number 17 bring out every kind of living creature that is with you the birds the animal and all the creatures that move along the ground so they can multiply on earth somebody say so they can multiply Can we repeat it to another neighbor and tell them so they can multiply and be fruitful and increase in number on it say increase fruitful multiply now there are three principles we will learn in the sacrifice that the sacrifice gives an increase a multiple and a fruitfulness amen Bazalwa. so these are the keys you've got to know about sacrificial life if you live a life of sacrifice you increase if you live a life of sacrifice you multiply if you live a life of sacrifice oh lord you are fruitful everything you do becomes fruitful hallelujah now I want you to know those three things. If you have your own Bible, please underline those three things. Number one, why do we sacrifice? We sacrifice because a sacrificial life makes multiplication. Sacrificial life makes one to be fruitful. A sacrificial life makes one to increase in number. 
Verse number 18. So Noah came out together with his sons and his wife and his son's wives, all the animals and all the creatures that move along the ground and all the birds, everything that moves on the land came out of the ark, one kind after another. Verse number 20. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord. Let's go back to verse number 19. All animals and all creatures that move. So Noah came out together with his son's wife, his son's wives and all animals and all creatures that move along the ground and all the birds, everything that moves on the land came out of the ark one kind after another. Are we together, saints? Verse number 20. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and taking some from these animals, he took some of all the clean, all clean, all clean animals. We say that's a first fruit of animals. All clean animals, clean birds, he sacrificed burnt offerings on it. The Lord smelled. Oh, the Lord can smell a sacrifice. If it is a first fruit sacrifice, the Lord smells the pleasing aroma. If the first fruit becomes a pleasing aroma, somebody say a pleasing aroma. Saints, let me tell you, kingdom citizen, when you sacrifice the first clean animals, which is the first fruit, the Lord smells the sweet aroma of the sacrifice. And, and, and he said in his heart, the Lord will begin to say things in his heart that he has never said. I feel like I am getting ahead of myself a bit. Allow me, Basalwane, to explain that after four was it 40 years? Noah went to the ark because the Lord said he must go to the, he must build the ark and take his household and all living animals, each of its kind, and put them in the ark. Ngoba unkulunkulu, wayese funa, wayesenza. So they went to the ark, they stayed in the ark until when he sent out a dove, it didn't come back. So he sent it out three times out of the ark. And the first time it, it came back, the second time it came back, but the third time it did not come back. So now he knew that they can come out. Now I want you to picture We want to think buildings, jobs, businesses, It was just a dry land. There was nothing. There was nothing. So the Lord went to, came to Noah, and he said to Noah, where we read, verse number 18, Noah, come out of the ark together with your wives, and all the animals, all the creatures that move along the, the ground and all the birds, everything that moves on the land. Then they came out of the Akpapuma Mkunjin. When they are coming out, so they are coming out to a land that is dry. Can I say it again? The land that is dry. Somebody say it with me. The land that is dry. There was nothing, absolutely nothing. There were no fruits, there were no trees, there were no gardens, there was nothing. The land was dry. Ooh. 
there is a season in your life where you come out and you you look at your life and you see my life is dry it's like there is nothing moving there is nothing happening in my life my life is so dry so Noah went out of the ark and that what they saw imagine they've been in this ark for many 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 40 days and they've been in this in this ark it's been raining and everybody that they knew i want to believe they had relatives i want to think and assume although it is not recorded in the word that they had relatives but I, 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 don't, I don't see, I don't see relatives here. I, I, I don't see anything here. I don't see, I, I don't see, uh, I don't see businesses. I don't, I don't see, I, I want to think and believe because Noah was old. That maybe he had a business. Maybe he, he, in his life he once worked. Maybe his children were working. But there was nothing. The land was dry. But a, a life of someone, a life of a, a person, a person of, of, of sacrifices, a person of sacrifices, a life of a person of sacrifices. Why would I say Noah was a man of sacrifices? Because we haven't gone to verse number, verse number 20 where we see him. We, we haven't gone to verse number 20 where we see him uh, building an altar. But what makes me think this was a man of sacrifice? It because the previous chapter, the Bible says Noah was found favor in the eyes of the Lord because he was a righteous man. Somebody say righteous. Now there is no man who is righteous who is not a man of sacrifice. Uh, because righteousness calls you to sacrifice some things that you like and some things that other people like. And you don't do things that people do because you are the righteous person. And righteousness calls for a man to live a sacrificial life that even if your neighbors are doing it but you sacrifice not doing it even if it brings pleasures in your flesh but you don't do it because I am a righteous person now the Bible describes Noah as a man who was a righteous man somebody shout hallelujah in this prayer so look who ends again. You born, who could know what we in daughter? Yama sacrifice. Mama Agu Kugulunga, Umunga was sacrifice. Konika Malezulenga is on my own. You've got to learn to sacrifice. Yeah. But you are, Pastor Teddy. In those days, Ibs were Lali to a new be picking. Amanda Mafundi Pipele, Baya Zuguti. Yes, cut it was a figure of all of you. No, be so lali to a lubu, be babum bat, lali to a lubu, be sanity. But no one found favor, found grace in the eyes of the Lord because no one was a righteous man. So, so it makes me then conclude that there were sacrifices that Noah had to make for him to stand out from the crowd. sacrifice I was Agukonula to sacrifice by building an altar and bring the first clean animals. If you have never sacrificed um, your own life, um, if you have never sacrificed them, um, Sacrificed your being to the Lord. 
if you have never sacrificed your being to the Lord, how can you sacrifice your sweat to the Lord? It is impossible to sacrifice your sweat to the Lord if you have never sacrificed your being to the Lord. When I talk to someone in this house, it will never be easy to sacrifice your sweat if you have never sacrificed your being. why it was easy. I don't hear God saying Noah built an altar. But I hear the Lord say, come out of the ark. What should he learn to your sacrifice? Let Israel go and move. I want to bend some tender. Yes, cut up a tandang aso. I want to be pillis nom ganjan. I want to believe bomba the corners in his in top. No, no, I to my book and jump and I hallele. Go to go to yas nisha. Lend to your to Daniel. I was winning nisha. You can never sacrifice your sweats to the Lord when you have never sacrificed your being to the Lord. It's going to be impossible. It's going to be unfair going to raise questions to your being because your being is not sacrificed hey it's going to raise questions in your mind because your mind is never sacrificed apostle paul says that sacrifice your bodies as a living sacrifice unto the lord my body carry my mind if my body is in my is in the lord it means my mind is in the hands of the lord that is why my mind will align with what the lord is saying and the patterns of the lord if the lord gives us a fine print that which is our sacrificial month even if other people are eating i'm sacrificing my my body, I'm not gonna eat this month because the Lord that's what is in his agenda concerning Kingdom Life Ministries International, concerning Kingdom Citizens in the month of April, in the agenda of the Lord, we are sacrificing. So Noah was deemed a righteous man seen as a righteous man was perceived as a righteous man not by people not by people I don't hear anyone complaining about Noah in fact Bazalwane what we add when we preach about in the Noah and we add and we add so the meat, you know, so that you can understand, you know, so that you can be, you know, but, but, but it is not recorded in the word. No one ever went around telling people, and they were never they never laughed at him. Because I don't hear people saying anything about the righteousness of Noah. But God, can you be righteous? That you get you you make heavens to pay attention to you. Mak tua is we bazon akshi wa akshi we te win. Akshi wa e kzn. Akshi we te ben. Akshi wa esauda. Kushi wa umshaba wonke. The universe umshaba wonke. Wau kwele ubu ubi. Imagine how many billions of people were there. But the attention of heaven was attracted to this one man who is righteous. Secondly, from this, actually, Noah and his wife and his kids were righteous. Noah was righteous. Ogulunga, Ogulunga, Noah. 
wa benefiti sumdeni wake. Ukutunga ngeni kuzamtolo. Can you be righteous in your family? Wenze zuluini beti mabe buga wena. Only you in the entire family you are found righteous. That is why Verse number 20 where we are Just keep it there We don't hear Noah having a meeting With his wife With his children About the building of the When Noah had to sacrifice We don't hear the word Telling us that Noah went for consultation. Hey. We, he, he never went for consultation to anyone from his family. Can I do it? Do you think it's right? Please don't take me there. Don't take me there. I want us to establish in this month of sacrifice that only people will be able to sacrifice are people who have sacrificed self. Are people who are righteous before the Lord. It can only come as a family. But maybe there is one Noah between us. A man of righteousness. And then the Bible says they came out. When they came out, the land was dry. Smoke. You know, Anakala Linda Lezi Luan Zituk Zal in the Bangakala Linde Batuk Chal Gabuba Conanji Telo Akapune Ruzo. You know, no Musanga Lindi Kalabuba Conama Emma Pilita Bawakayo. I want to believe because the land was. You know, I call a pesha pesha roof. Akumuzi. You know, someone has to give his first fruit to the Lord, but they are busy saying, Kona Fanem to go pesha pesha. You know, I'm a Kalanga. Wakabanga. I mean, I mean, guys, it would have been understandable. It would have been understandable. Eh? I mean, I tell you the truth. If my mum is gone now, you know where I mean. It's Mfundis. Kawo wakata beza inga inga ge no. When zaka call, au au kale ngomuz muzan now. Au au kale au kale au kale ngoko kinga inga ge no. Au tin kampan. Ah ah ni chokli mongo no. Eh, au linde lezi lwa ne zituk zala. Fuyo Yako, it took Zala, but say we aspire near Noah, we all beg again. So Noah did not go to consult to no man. Oh, San Bonan Basalwa, because this was a man who was living a sacrificial life. Touch your neighbor and say, Sacrificial life. When you live a life of sacrifice. Lele kamele ti sacrifice ni shukdela, eh? Ukdela gonge, eh? Eh? Ni shukdela, eh? Why he dela? He was living a life of sacrifice. Listen to this. When he came out, go 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 back to verse number eighteen. Something I want us to pay attention to. I am so excited in this man. Because I'm gonna teach someone the mysteries of the kingdom that makes one to multiply, that makes everything you do to multiply, that makes your money to multiply, that makes him for your yako to multiply, it makes your asset to everything that concerns your name shall and not only multiply, but it will also increase it will also it will also 
not only to increase but you will also be you will also be that's a mystery of the kingdom it's the key that the enemy doesn't want the children of God to know the devil can allow you to pray but the devil wouldn't allow you to fulfill or to find this key and use it because he knows you shall multiply he knows you shall increase he knows you will be fruitful verse number 18 so Noah came out together with his sons and his wife and his son's wife and verse number 19 all animals and all the creatures that move along the ground and all the birds everything that moves on the earth came out of the ark one kind after another verse number 20 i just wanted to be sure with that what the bible says verse number 20 then noah built i just wanted to, to be sure that noah did not consult anyone just wanted to be sure that noah did not start by doing his things and his family things yeah, i just wanted us to be clear verse number 20 then noah built an altar to the lord and taking some of all clean animals can we say it again all clean animals now the bible describes all clean animals as the first fruit first fruit of the animals you remember the story of cain and abel you remember the story of cain and abel abel took the first clean fat animals first clean fat animals as a first fruit and made a sacrifice to the lord and the bible literally when cain did that and when abel did that cain was angry because the lord accepted the sacrifice of his brother abel eh? and then when when cain was angry because god has has, has accepted cain, abel's uh, abel's sacrifice and he rejected cain's sacrifice because cain did not take the first did not take the first the clean did not take the first fruit to the Lord. Watch my sense in the song in toes like a way my tat in no my in who's a master sneaker is tata no my in Kulungula Kahanji said in no my in Bazalwan. See a wash or local was a jabule. Go and go to the knees, Unkulungula Ganiwa in. He rejects Inomayin. He God rejected Abel's offering. And Cain's offering, rather. He rejected Cain's offering. Now, Babil, first what sacrifice sacrifice multiplier be increase be fruitful be Lucho, 
Because I tell you the truth, after this month, some people, Abel's, Abel's, Abel's will see increase, Abel's will see multiplication, Abel's will see fruitfulness because they will bring their first fruit to the Lord. And I'm telling you, Cain's will be jealous. When they are jealous of you, you must know. Cain, I brought my first fruit and Cain had an opportunity to do the same but Cain did not do it oh and the Lord rejected his offering now he is fighting me because he is a reject hallelujah he's a reject so, so the Bible says Pastor Nebami when when Noah came out and I'm about to close Noah came out. He built an altar. Let me tell you, Bazalwan, when you live a life of sacrifice, not even your children will ever understand. Not even your spouse will understand. That is why even Abraham, the father in faith, when he had to take his first fruit, Isaac, to the mountain as a sacrifice, as a first fruit sacrifice, Abraham did not did not have a conversation with his wife he did not talk about it with his wife because no past, no one can understand the life of a I was a runner but learn that in improve a leon ends into a no I ends with our understand I'm gonna get you a bora I'm gonna get a okay in 20 Songa se a groove when I was grooving on the shan. Upon a match was nigh, but when I was yo yo yo, eh? Ubona it because they don't understand that you are living a sacrificial life. I sacrifice whatever my gang are when I get my cool book mass. Get my cool book mass. So, do you think they can understand when you are bringing the first fruit? Who can understand that? That you are building an altar, you are taking the first. I come on, Noah. Are you okay, Noah? My just pull my jam kunjin. Uve lu tate zonke leze ikini luane sne shouti to mitisana zizale zibeningi. Pela leze ikini leze sazi uti zisazo pila zisazo kule lisana zisazo wenzi reproduction. No, we tate tate ngono leze say take the unclean. Sami si no my. And you will hear them cursing the Lord. You will hear them saying, The Lord is not doing this and that for me. You will hear them saying, You will hear them saying, I get in the Zamoguni, Lokuwe Fangela Gunse Benzel, Ayang and Buza was on the Basa Kingdom Life Long Buza, and I'm trying to put your own Did you keep all his commands? Are you living a sacrificial life? Oh, hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah. Noah came out of the ark, took clean animals, first fruit, and he sacrificed the burnt offerings on it. He made those animals the sacrifice. Because clean. Because you are all clean animals. All. My tatazonke ilwane is clean. La imsha beni kunge kolut. No countries of Kangabi is clean food. You see, you see a life of sacrifice. You do things because you have faith that I don't know where will be my next meal. And I don't even want to think about it. He knows. Go for me to verse 21. Listen to this. The Lord smelled the pleasing aroma. Somebody say pleasing. So the first fruit, once we nigel la unkulu unkulu, aganugi pungel fana yojenge minigel losha duyenza. Oh, san banan basalo nebam. I'm about to close. Don't worry. I'm not here to condemn you. I'm here to teach you the mysteries of the kingdom. 
ukuthi ukhayina kubo kwakho lokho kunake maso kwakho ukuba manje just focus you see you see you see we normally give but but the first fruit becomes a pleasing aroma and the lord said in his heart never again will i curse the ground jesus because of this man never again will i curse the ground because of men even though every inclination of his heart is evil from childhood and never again will i destroy all living creatures as i have done bazalwane unkulunkulu akawushintsha umqondo kodwa leli verse lingenza ngazi ukuthi first fruit iyamenza unkulunkulu ashintsha umqondo ifest fruit iyamenza unkulunkulu athatha izinqumo ezinja ifest fruit yomuntu yenza unkulunkulu athatha inqumo ngomhlaba ifest fruit yomuntu oyedwa iyamenza unkulunkulu athatha inqumo ngezwe as long as the earth remains seed time and harvest cold and heat summer and winter day and night will never cease a first fruit sacrifice can make god can make god to make a vow and make a law for himself this law governs god himself and this law he never made it out of his own liking but after smelling the first fruit sacrifice he made a law that governs even him i hear myself i hear myself unkulunkulu wenza umthetho obamba ngisho yena ewenziswa i first fruit kanowa what umhlabu usakhona uzoba khona isikhathi sokuvuna nokucala unkulunkulu ngisho ngaba kafuna uvune athi ngisho le nto kamhlungwana i religion izolwa nami ngisho ngabe mfundisi uThedi usesonweni uma kuyisikhathi sokuvuna kwakho umthetho awubeka uyampoka ukuthi akwenze uvune khona usebubini ngoba khona isikhathi owatshala ngaso yinqandile yenza umuntu kade kholwa enikela awe enkosini awe right sithi uwila ngithi awe futhi asimbone progress akashonga ukuthi lesi sikhathi siyokwenzakalela abakholwayo uthe as long as the earth remains so whether lo muntu usakholwa noma kasakholwa uma akajala sikhona isikhathi sakhe sokwenzani religion will find me on this one because to those who are religious it will sound like it abanda bayo kwenza ukuna but i'm trying to explain to you less into enhlale ni gibeta emsebenzini nasekuqoleni nasekhaya sokuthi why bephumelela bengakholwa bage bacala do the petrus mode that will never be poor you will never i'll tell you why because there is a mozepe foundation Saying he will not, he will never be poor because he's a billionaire. I've seen billionaires becoming centenaires, but 
I'm saying, what makes me to be sure standing here that you will never be poor, it's because I've heard there is a Motepe foundation. What does it do? He's seeding. He's seeding. Motepe foundation. He's seeding. Ah. Is he tongue speaking? I don't know. Does he pray? I don't know. Does he fast? I don't know. But what I can tell you, he always harvests. Because he seeds. And long come, Molo. When's he was? Then I am daughter. Who gave his first fruit? What am I saying? I'm saying, even if so, go home, Dalu, see, Sarah, so you can't say what Sean, Abantuan, 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 Abako, Abai, Ebuchesu, and Alogu, Shatwab, and Abatandazi, they will harvest from what you have seeded. And that's a truth. That's a truth. They may not enter heaven because they have never accepted Christ, but they will harvest from your seeds. The Lord smell your first fruit every April. Ooh, what is it? He's smelling a sweet aroma and he's saying there will be increase in this lineage. There will be multiplication in this lineage. There will be fruitfulness in this lineage. Even if you are dead, even if you have went to be with the Lord, but that first fruit, those first fruits, they will speak on your behalf. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, of sacrifice of first fruit if you are a man of first fruit even if when you die your blood will speak and will speak for your generations of fruitfulness Oof. in this month of April the whole month we, we are we are saying Jesus spend us spend us we are sacrificing everything we have we are sacrificing our being we are sacrificing our bodies we are sacrificing our monies we are sacrificing our salaries we are sacrificing our businesses turnovers we are saying Spend everything, Jesus. Spend it for your kingdom. Spend it for your kingdom. Spend it. Spend it. We are building an altar of the Lord so that He can make some decrees that will affect my generations to come, that will affect children of my Lord and their children, 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 until the seventh generation. Lord, I choose a life of a sacrificial life. Lord, I choose to sacrifice my life as a first fruit to sacrifice my income as a first fruit to sacrifice my time I sacrifice everything all clean animals all I don't give you one and not give you another I won't just give you my time and not give you my money I won't just give you my money and not give you my time I will give you all 